Hello everyone, my name is Jaden. Today, you're going to be introduced to the world of project management. Every time you are introduced to a topic, the first question that pops up into our minds is what? Usually followed by why and how. So what exactly is project management? At its most fundamental, project management is about people getting things done, said Dr. Martin Barnes. To put it simply, you're given a project. However, your job isn't to do the entire project yourself but to work together with a team of people who specialize in their required fields and possess adequate skills to help deliver the best possible results for said project. Confused? Don't worry, we're still in the process of learning. Project management is to meet all the given tasks within the given constraints. The three main constraints are scope, time and budget. A client approaches you with their objectives for the project. You hand down these objectives to the project manager, the one in charge of putting a team together to meet the given objectives. They are also required to make sure that work runs smoothly, keeping to the client's requests and keeping track of deadlines. Each person working on the project has an assigned task specified to their knowledge, skills, tools and techniques that are required to meet within the deadlines imposed by the project manager or client. They all work together to produce something new or altered, tangible or intangible. It is a process of trial and error in which the team works towards fulfilling the client's objectives the best that they can. To manage a project, one must be organized, strategic, action-oriented and diligent. Let's take a look at the tasks of a wedding planner for example. The to be wedded couple approach the wedding planner with a date, a set of ideas on what they want their wedding to look like and a budget. The wedding planner then confirms the availability of decorators, caterers, a DJ, venues, photographers, etc. with details about the wedding given by the couple. Then the caterer will present a few of their cuisines based on the preferences of the couple. The DJ will suggest playlists suitable for the wedding. The decorator will prepare a selection of their pieces and then the couple will pick which they like the best. The wedding planner will also show the couple a bunch of suitable venues for their theme until they find one they want to get married at. With a few more details like seating, dance floor, starters, gifts, cleaning services, invitations, clothes, guests, etc. taken care of, the wedding day approaches and it is up to the wedding planner to make sure that everyone and everything is in the right place at the right time and to fix any last minute mistakes or problems like making the bouquet from scratch because of a small shipping glitch. And with the planner's organization skills, strategic thinking and diligence, do the couple get the perfect wedding they had asked for and all within their budget. Sadly, that is it for the planner, the caterer, the photographer and all the other people that helped in making the wedding successful. That's when they say goodbye or until next time, which is a week later at another wedding. In a similar way, the people that come together to work on a project say goodbye at its completion or until next time. Basically, project management is the science and art of organizing all the components of a project to successfully complete its listed goals and deliverables. But why is it required that a project be managed by someone when everyone works just fine individually and with a team? The answer to that, in very simple words, to avoid chaos. Everyone can do their work perfectly fine, but when it comes to coordinating internally and externally, managing finances, recruiting the correct people, making and following the schedule, 
managing setbacks and arranging for the required resources, the workload of the individual will inevitably increase, decreasing the quality of the work they were originally supposed to specialize in. One of the most important reasons to use project management is to align projects with business strategy. And as project managers oversee the planning and execution of a project, they help ensure the project's overall goals and its subsequent tasks and milestones all align with the organization's strategy. Now getting to how a project is managed. For this, we come back to the three constraints of project management that I spoke about earlier. They are time, scope and budget. Keeping these three factors in mind, let's plan a project or two. These projects are given to us by two builders, one who's very high profile and has been in the industry for years, and one who's a startup and is a, has a very low profile. Both of them were recently gifted some land and they both want to build houses on said land, but one of the houses to be built is a hut, while the other, a bungalow with an over-the-top security system and fancy front and backyard. Why aren't both the projects we worked on bungalows or huts? Here is where planning the project with the three main constraints come into play. The resources required for building a simple wooden hut are the bare minimum compared to the bungalow which would require heavy machinery, lots of manpower, an interior designer, a technician, plumber, gardener, etc. Hence, the scope of the requirements and man and machine power required for both houses differ. Also, the levels of experience of each builder, as stated earlier, also differ. So, taking up a high-end project with no actual experience wouldn't be advisable. Now, they do have a time limit on how long the project must last. But without the consistent flow of people willing to work on building the house and with the wrong set of people working at the wrong stage of the project, the project will fall into the hands of disaster. Hence, it, is, it will require scheduling and proper time management to actually keep the project running. But in order to undertake the project, they must have enough funds available. Here is where budget comes into play. If they do not have enough funds, they cannot afford to hire enough staff for the project to proceed according to schedule or buy the required materials to build the house to meet full customer satisfaction for when they decide to sell it. Not meeting customer satisfaction will also inevitably lead to a stain on their reputation. So keeping time, scope and budget in mind is how one proceeds to plan and manage a project. Yes, there are many more factors involved, but let's not overload on information today. After all, this is just an introduction. But do feel free to comment down below on what you do differently on the uncomplicated project we just undertook. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.